Hello everybody, this is Ray. My channel is Ray's United, my new channel. So um, yes, I'm gonna talk about Manchester United as you can see, I'm a Man United fan. This is gonna be my first video and I'm driving to work. So, Man United, um, we won against, we came from behind to win against um, West Ham and it, was, it wasn't a good, a perfect, especially the first half or the first hour. But once the substitutions were, well, the substitutions that were made obviously changed the game. I mean, bringing on um, Bruno Fernandes and um, Rashford for Edison, Edison Cavani and um, Martial changed the game. Obviously, later on, uh, Mata came on. He had an assist for Rash Rashford's uh, third, the third goal, which Ra Rashford scored. And I would say the scoreline obviously flattered us because I don't think we played particularly well. We didn't. But we still, you know, came out victors. So I would say, yes, I'm happy Turn about that. Um, but we've got RB Leipzig this week. And it's going to be a very challenging game because Leipzig are a very good outfit. The next right onto and if we don't play well, if we play as we did against West Ham, we will come up stuck so we need to play um, to our best and I think we will do that we will do that um, I don't want to talk about the City game that will be after the Champions League I mean midway game so I'm not going to talk about Man City I'm only going to talk about my uh, um, RB Leipzig at the moment so um, this is just a preview show um, I'm gonna, it's going to be very quick Maybe a few minutes and then I'm done Because I'm driving, I want to be focused But I thought, let me put something out there um, I think What's happening right now with Man United My club is We are topsy-turvy If that's the word We are not consistent You know, We take a step forward, a step back A step forward, a step back However, we're still in, um, touching distance With the top of the Premier League So um, I would say all in all, considering the fact that we've not actually played that well and we're fifth on the table, 19 points from a possible 30, that is really good. Very, very good. So I think what we should do right now is uh, make sure we select the best players we can select for our game and see what's going to happen. Because if we don't do that, we don't know what's going to happen. You know? And that's what we need to do. So we need to... Um, select the best players we can and forget about it in the next game because we need to get through to the uh, round of 16 of the Champions League we need to do that and to do that we need to win or we need to not lose but winning confirms everything for us so we need to win and that's it um, so yeah it's, it's going to be a very tough game considering it's an away game and uh, like I said RB Leipzig are a very good outfit so um, what do you think our, our lineup should be because I'm thinking um, Henderson still because the game might not be that fit. So Henderson, uh, Wan Bissaka, the back line, uh, the defense, central defense should be um, Maguire and Lindelof because they've been the pair that um, Sosha prefers. So Maguire and Lindelof, and then left back Tellers, of course, and then obviously, obviously midfield. Now, this is where the um, decision. Or, or um, social money could be made midfield. So I think we should have one holding midfielder, and we should go after these guys. We shouldn't def we shouldn't play defensive because the way they play, they they're always on a full throttle. So because they play that way, we need to counter that. You get what I mean? So if we have a sitting uh, CDM, like say Matic, who, can, who is very composed and disciplined, we we, we then we, you know we play Pogba because I feel like playing Pogba. And Bruno Fernandes would put fear into the midfield and obviously the defenders of um, the RB Leipzig. So if we play them, then obviously the forward line should be uh, Rashford, Greenwood, and Cavani. That's what I think. Cavani up top, Greenwood on the um, right, and uh, Rashford on the left. I feel like uh, Martial is out of form, so he should be put on the bench. He might not even be fit because he's got that um, groin issue. So, yes, that's my um, starting 11. What do you think your starting 11 should, what our starting 11 should be? 
whatever it is you can put it in the comment in the comment section because i think if we do it that way um we will be able to have matic sitting meaning that he protects the back four and then pogba and uh Bruno Fernandes will have the license to just you know go forward and Pogba will be the box to box of course um, and Bruno will be the um, attacking uh, midfielder or attacking central midfielder so yeah I think that's what we should that's how we should play 4-3-3 I don't like the 4-2-3-1 it means Pogba will play deep and Pogba playing deep um, <laughs> it's trouble you know so Pogba will not play deep. He will play the box to box on the left side of that midfield, and uh, Bruno Fernandes will play a bit more advanced on the right side of that midfield. He can always um, check into the uh, um, uh, uh, check in and help the forward line. So yeah, uh, that's why I think our selection should be no four two three one four three three. You know four three three and just a normal um, standard four three three, not too wide, not too narrow. Just keep it. You know everybody playing in position, but. You could drift a bit to help the other, helping one another, and that's what's going to happen. If they could do that, I believe we, we could win this game because the way um, Leipzig play, they play full throttle and they get tired. So if you counter them, if you match them, and you, you know you've got better players, you could beat them. And that's what I think we should do. And we will beat them. I guarantee you, we will beat them if we play a 4 3 3 instead of a uh, 4 2 3 1. Because I feel like when we play 4-2-3-1, the balance is very shaky. You know, but if we play 4-3-3, in this formation I gave you, is the personnel that matter. And I, he should play Pogba. He should play. Pogba needs game time. The way he played against West Ham, especially the, 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 the um, final third of the game, was very good. The goal he scored was spectacular, obviously. Uh, he could not even compete for goal of the season or goal of the month. If I'm not um, for stating it, and yeah, Bruno Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez, the most influential player in our team, and then obviously Rashford. He's uh, he's Rashford. I mean, I like Rashford, and he plays very well as well um, in bits. But you know, when you give him chances, he wastes some of them. But he he scores as well. So you know, he's uh, one of the top scorers in the um, the Champions League. So yeah, those are my lineup. What are yours? And uh, we will see what happens. Um, I might release another video uh, before kickoff. Yes? Yeah, so I think it's tomorrow. Right? Yeah, tomorrow's the game. So I might release another video probably this evening before um, tomorrow's game. Yeah? All right. So please don't, don't forget to subscribe and like, share, and smash the not notification button so when I release any video content you will be able to you know be the first person to receive it all right all right i'm ray and this is my channel ray's ray's united have a good day